Well, this is John White, Breaking Mad, talking about how to make a gas mask. Um, and this isn't really a gas mask per se, because a gas mask filters out, uh, you know, bad gases or particles. This really doesn't do that, um, but for a home chemist, it would be good, maybe. <coughs> now, I want you to look at this. This is a snorkel, okay? Everyone knows, I hope, what a snorkel is. It's just a tube with an elbow on it, so you can put it in your mouth and lay in water, you know, face down. And you can see if this was the water line right here, right? He was laying in water. This would be poking outside the water, right? Because here's the water line. And he can breathe, right? <coughs> and I just have it in a face mask form. And you can see his head where his mouth nose and eyes would be um and this would be up you know what i mean <coughs> so anyways uh if you notice there's actually two tubes here one tube comes in and it goes into this area here where his eyes are at right and then my i'm not sure about this but my belief is there's some type of check valve or something with tiny holes you know what i mean it it has to uh diffuse into the next area right <coughs> Um, so he inhales, right, and there's a check valve here, even though I have it open. There's another check valve there that's closed, right? When he inhales, this check valve from the intake air opens up, and, it, and the air comes in and he inhales it, right? And when he's all full inhaling and he's not inhaling anymore, this check valve will close. When he exhales, it forces this one open to the outlet, and the air comes up here. Then when he inhales again, this closes, right? And this one where his eyes are at opens up, and, the in, you know, more air can come in, and he can breathe it. Now, because I'm, and there's also where this arrow is, there's a pressure valve, that if you go so deep into the water, and the more pressure you get, I guess because it pushes on the face mask, and you don't, you know, become so uncomfortable, so they put a pressure relief valve in there. You get so low down, the pressure builds up, the water can come inside and, and equalize the pressure difference so it's not smashing your face. <coughs> so, if they were pressure relief valves, you could just basically, my idea would be, and these would be the straps, you know, the straps goes around your thing, and you have an airtight seal on these scuba, you know, they're not gas masks, they're scuba gear mask, and not for scuba gearing where you got a tank on your back, scuba gearing where you are snorkeling, they're snorkeling full face mask, okay? Um, like I was saying, if, if, if these are pressure valves where they can only go you know they're check valves where they can only let gas pass one way you know what i mean then you could just put hoses onto these you know these are going to be two holes up here right you know you might have to cut some you know might not be holes where you can see them but if you cut it i'm sure there is holes where you can shove hoses into these shove a hose into the inlet and the outlet JB weld it all up so that it's airtight. That way the air, if, if these are check valves, I don't know if they are check valves, um, and then just have these hoses going outside, okay? You can see if you're standing up, they'd be, the hoses would be pointing back, you know what I mean? And then they'd probably hang over your back, you know, a little bit. So you couldn't uh, be moving around all over the place. I mean, you could, but... You wouldn't want to be moving around all over the place while you're doing your experiment. But the way I'm going to do it, because I'm unsure about that way, because I'm not sure if they're check valves, or if they're what you know, if they're just little holes or what. So my idea, because you don't want to breathe in, you don't want your carbon dioxide to be breathing in, you know, breathing it in. Um, so if it's not set up that way, you will end up just suffocating yourself giving yourself carbon dioxide poisoning so what I'm gonna do with mine because I'm unsure 
is I'm going to block up here. The outlet, right, I'm going to block. So I'm going to put the hose into the inlet, JB weld it, and now I can breathe in, right? And what I'm going to do is the hole in front of the mouth here, that's the pressure relief valve. If you go down too low into the water, you know, it'll let water in so that you can relieve the pressure on the mask, you know, pressing on your face. Um, I'm going to cut a hole into that. I'm going to insert a hose like this arrow is into the mouth, right? So there's at least enough hose to reach inside, uh, you know, an inch into my mouth or a half inch into my mouth, right? Then I'm going to JB weld that all up so it's all nice and, you know, airtight or whatever. Now imagine I have the mask on my face. It's airtight around here. You know what I mean? Um, the hose that goes in is you know going out to a window and I can breathe in and when I breathe in the air comes in when I breathe out the hose is in my mouth I have to keep that sealed the entire time and I just blow out that hose you breathe in your nose and out your mouth otherwise this method is not good you know what I'm saying this way since you're breathing out when you breathe in, you'll always be sucking in nice clean air wherever you put the end of this hose going to outside or to another room or to whatever. So keep in mind, right, you're going to have to put your tongue over that, uh, you know, the tube that goes into your mouth that you breathe out of, right, that you exhale into. That tube, when you're not exhaling, you need to put your tongue over top of it. So... This is not to cut. It's going to be aggravating a little bit to do this. You know what I mean? Because you're going to have to exhale, put your tongue over the tube, and then inhale with your nose. Then take your, you know, move your tongue so you can exhale, and then plug up the tube again. Um, but if you're doing your experiment, really the only time where you have bad gases is when you start and when you shut down. You know what I mean? You need to clean everything up. So, I mean, if you just use it for those purposes, you know what I mean? Uh, or if you're in conjunction with, you know, a fume hood where you're using something like hydrogen cyanide, you know, you might want to, uh, you know, use this just to be safe or whatever. But if you don't cover up the tube that's in your mouth with your tongue, other than when you're exhaling, all you're doing is you're letting the carbon dioxide come back into your mask, you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're in an apartment building, this uh, this method wouldn't work. You know, whatever fumes you have are just going to go permeate throughout the apartment apartment building. You know, the other apartments. <coughs> but if you have a house, and it's especially if it's raining hard, uh, and it's winter time, everyone has their windows closed. It's raining. You know. Oh, you know. I always remember rain is the biggest gas scrubber there is meaning if you're in a house not an apartment building but a house and it's raining outside it's winter so everyone has their windows closed and it's nighttime they're all sleeping and it's windy and raining rain no one's going to smell anything I mean maybe styrene that's some nasty stuff but most chemicals to rain especially if it's raining hard We'll just beat that those gases down before they get, you know, a couple feet past your house or a foot past your house, and uh, will be dissolved in all the water. You could have you'd be sitting in your house, say, right? Here's your basement, here's your whatever, here's your two hoses going outside. Now wherever the wind is going, if the wind is going this way, see how I have the arrows pointed? That's the side you want your hoses on. It's going to be where you know if the fumes go outside they're going to be pushed that way you know what i mean and maybe even have a window open with a fan pull blowing that way right now you have your chemicals going they're going out the fan or if you have a fume hood and you're just working with something that you're terrified you know it might be hydrogen cyanide or something like that and you're like oh i got a fume hood but i don't want to trust that i won't you know because you only need a few molecules to kill yourself I don't want to risk it, you know what I mean? So you have your fume, hand, fume hood on, 
and you have these hoses going to the other side of the building you know what i mean outside the you know you open the window just to crack just to get the hoses out there and, and then close it up is all the way down you know the hoses ain't going to be that thick and then uh put some towels in the crack of the window or whatever so you're getting nice fresh air you know what i mean if you're and if you have a couple story building that'd be even greater you can go to the higher you know floors and drape the the hoses all the way down to the ground you know what i mean you really be out of the you know because the higher you go up the windier it is so you know no fumes would get down here if this was a two, you know this was the first store story instead of a basement you had the hoses down to here so that's pretty much it you know it's sealed because it's a scuba you know it's a snorkeling but it's for scuba snorkeling diving or whatever uh so you know you have a seal going around your head you know your chin and your your face and that right and you know you're getting fresh air because this inlet is coming all the way from a hose that's 20 30 feet you know on the other side of the building outside and you know you're not being carbon dioxide poisoned because you have your outlet is a hose going directly into your mouth and you only breathe through that out through that hose you know what i mean so sure the carbon dioxide is going to build up in that tube but you never breathe in that tube you breathe in your nose so that way who cares if there's carbon dioxide in that when, when you breathe out again you'll force that carbon dioxide out you know into the atmosphere and of course put more into the tube right by your mouth but like i said you breathe in your nose you get nice fresh air and you breathe out the other nose and since both hoses are going to the same place outside even if you did accidentally breathe in through the hose once in a while you know sure you're going to get carbon carbon dioxide a lot uh, but it wouldn't be the poisons or the chemical fumes that you're making you know doing your experiment but anyways the face mask probably 20 bucks hoses even if you took a 20 feet one you know for your inlet and 20 feet for your outlet you can probably get a hose for t a dollar a foot I mean that's 40 bucks for the hose 20 for the mask and maybe a couple bucks for JB weld and you know 65 bucks you got a night and you don't have to worry about this because different filters filter different stuff you know what I mean so you might need different types of filters you have to know which ones you can get and use um you have to know um that they you know once you use them that's it they're done you, you got to buy another one here you never have to buy a filter you never have to worry about what kind of filter it's always fresh air and you never have to worry about if it's used up or has it expired anyways that's pretty much it for this this video it's just a little short little whatever I did do another video where I show you how to take the YouTube off of your or disconnect it from your sink and then shove a hose down the YouTube you know with the YouTube having water in it right shove it past that water and then blow through the hose so it's all air and you can connect that up to any apparatus and all the gases just go into the sewage and it can't come back out because the YouTube has water in it so it's kind of stuck down there just like that's why your house doesn't smell like crap you know what I mean because you have water in your YouTube and that stops and contains those fumes anyways you have a great day and always remember science is great